Hello there guys, Elite Legionaria here, bringing you a 1 vs 1 for Total War Rome 2. Today I'll be in command of Bactria and my opponent, uh, I forgot his name, but uh, it will be in the description so don't worry about that. Uh, he's in command of Rome, but he's hidden to me at the moment. So being Bactria I'm pretty care heavy, but however of course patch 9 it's not as easy to get as many powerful cav now, so I had to rely on these Bactria Noble Horse, which is actually a pretty good melee cav for 20 bonus versus infantry, fairly good armor, a reasonably decent charge among melee cav, purely for a melee fighting kit unit. You got five of those. Out on my far right, I got three mercenary uh, Scythian, Scythian horse archers, and up my center, I have um, it was three units of elite Persian archers. And it was four Eastern Javelinmen, and I believe it was four Theros Spheres. And of course my general was an Indian Armoured Elephant. So uh, in this fight what I'm aiming to do is basically do as much destruction from my flanks. Um, and basically skirmish and kite in the centre. Use these uh, Eastern Javelinmen to beat that, defeat that very, those very strong Roman uh, infantry that I'm expecting to fight. At the moment though he remains hidden, he's taking a defensive uh, battle at the moment. But uh, he should be in here, in this general area around here. For now though, um, I'm just going to try and use my use my horse heart just to scout and catch anything out if it becomes available to me to do so. Um, but basically I'm trying to be as... oops, sorry. To be as mobile as possible. As you can see I'm trying to kind of like hold a centre and very strong flanks, and some units became hidden. Some units became available to me. I see some Vigiles and an Evacati cohort. Uh, I also see some Gladiator Spearmen, second Evacati cohort, and Auxiliary Belleric Slingers. Um, and over here there was some Cav. Uh, didn't catch them at the time before they disappeared there. Um, I'm just going to say now. Um, I think the new standard. And probably the most efficient mainline infantry for Rome will be the Evacati cohort. Um, it's still, it's it's pretty like it's it's dear. It's you know it's quite costly, but at the same time it's very efficient for what you pay. You get a very good piece of infantry, and you know it's not hugely expensive. You can still field a, a fair few of them and get some get a good number of other support troops with it, and it's very strong. So it's probably going to be Rome's uh, mainstay infantry at the moment. Which is kind of cool because it was never that popular before, but now it's very effective. As you see, very good stats, very very good stats. Um, and of course, uh, the Evacati were the uh, veterans of the Roman legions. They did their full 20 years of service and um, chose to stay by choice to stay in the army and serve their generals or consuls or whoever was in charge. So. Um, as you can imagine, historically they would have been some very, very good soldiers indeed. So I think it should be good that they're good units. Um, his general here, what type of general is he? He is a uh, he's a commander. Uh, my general is a fear general. Like, what do I call it? A fear general? A warrior general? Uh, I always call it a fear general because of the traits it inflicts upon people. Um, he's a warrior general for the purposes they have the ability like intimidate and stuff and. And I want to try and cause a ch like like if you use elephants combined with intimidate and then trample, um, you can seriously pack a massive route going sometimes. So I'm going to try and do that basically. That's what I like to do. So I'm just skirmishing here. I'm just trying to get rid of these uh, some of these gladiator spearmen. Uh, I've got a few of these vigile. I'm trying to get rid of some of these Balearic slingers. But he's pretty clustered here, uh, and also just uh, um, not so great at killing foot skirmishes and I don't really want to go to Cantabrian Circle um, simply because I don't know if he's got any by cav at this stage even though it turned out he didn't at the time I couldn't know that so didn't want to risk it. So I'm seeing my guys up here now I know my Theros Spears won't win um, here's a cavalry unit that's been revealed it's just an equite though so I'm assuming because he's got the, this he's, he does have quite a few Vicati cohort I'm assuming he's not got too many powerful cavalry then but I shouldn't yeah, couldn't underestimate. So I've got my um, elite Persian archers and they are using concentration fire to fire at several of these Balearic slingers and they're having a pretty nice effect on them. As you can see a few of us guys are dropping there and I hear that stupid sound cut thing. 
So here I saw one of his equities and I decided to charge it. And remember, these guys are not great charging, Kev, but they take a long time to route. They're very good in a melee. He did pop Draco there, though, and I decided to just run off here before these Evercarty come along, even though I have a good bonus first and they are still Evercarty and I don't want to really get stuck fighting them. So here I see him pull out his Equites and his Sockey Eye Extraordinary there. So I decided to kind of sandwich it, although he sort of gets more of a charge on me there, but I still able to sandwich it. Um, and he didn't get trampled with his Equites Sockey Eye Extraordinary there. There's a nice close up, some cavalry fights. These are fights that should go my way eventually. Um, my guys are better at that. Uh, there's Evercarty coming though, and they are looking friggin' awesome as always. Um, however, I've got now that I've got them pinned, I'm going to bring up my uh, javelins here, and because they are very effective against killing very heavy infantry unit types, um, and I still have a chance to use my elephant here. Um, he has run into mock, though. That's annoying when that happens that soon. It happens instantly. It doesn't always happen, but it does when it happens. It's annoying, but unfortunately, it runs a mock straight amongst his own Evercarty there, so that worked out quite nicely. As you can see, his um, equites get pretty thrashed here. I decided to just ignore his infantry over here and go for... Um, okay, I thought I was going to do that. I was going to put my uh, Thera Spears in there, but I saw that the cavalry fight mine back to a noble horse for winning that. As you can see, my elephants completely chain route all his Evocati there. Even though they're an awesome infantry, I got right into his flank, and when you combine that with these uh, elite Persian archers and javelins that were throwing spears in, then the elephants using that to intimidate a chain route of them. So that's how you want to use the elephants, get them into a fixed line. Uh, let's get a close up actually. Uh, yeah, it's still a mock though. Yeah, it's still a mock, so I won't bother with that. The nice close ups for you. My battery and horses, you can see, they'll beat these cab in the grind eventually, but um, they'll be better actually used against infantry because they've got that 20 bonus versus infantry. Um, whereas shot cavs got the bonus versus large or other cavalry types. I do get his general to start routing here. And uh, my elephants are still running a mock there. I try to get rid of some of his sling, uh, his foot archers there with my horse archers, but they're not as strong as I thought in the melee there, so they don't go quite as well. Here's the other he gets one of my Theros spears, but I'm using that just to try and pin him so that I can start putting lots of missile fire down with my Persian archers and my javelins. Javelins are like superb to superb at killing heavy infantry. They absolute maul them. It's awesome. Uh, so um, at this stage, what happened to my general? I know he's somewhere near here. Here he is. He is taking some casualties. Still a mock though, um, which is a bit annoying. So his Evocati, uh, I got the Thera Spears in. His Evocati are doing a bit of damage. Uh, my whole Battery Noble Horse are holding their own here for sure. And I'm going to see my guys, I'm going to get these guys onto the flank now, my horse archers, and put them into heavy shot. Um, for some reason these units decided to charge, I suspect they may have run out of ammo. Um, I can't really understand why they did that, but it turns out being quite useful. I route this Evocati over here, and in a moment um, my elephant does stop, I think the elephant, see our elephant stop routing, so I can send him along to turn that fire. But as you can see, these Bactria Noble Horse, do quite nicely in the melee against these Evocati because they uh, got their bonus. However, they're in the woods, so that's not exactly helpful to them. But I've now got all these javelins and just getting them onto the flank there. Here I decided to just bypass this Evocati code over here and go straight for this cluster and win this final stage of the battle. As some of my guys start to route here, um, it's my Theros Spears and one of my Bactria Noble Horse. But at this stage, uh, I think my opponent might have given in the towel, thrown in the towel at that stage. So um, let's have a look at those results. So it was fairly close, but uh, it looked like I was getting on top of it. Uh, even though my elephants routed or run a mock there, they run a mock in all the right places. So you got 226 kills for them. Cavalry, as you can see, 44, 35, 53, 44. You know, they're all kind of getting even, and they and they're really quite, you know, quite efficient at dealing with other infantry units, even though they were either carty. Um. The Eastern Javelin in the 40s, so they were really handy at helping with the Avocati, and these these archers all got around 50, 60 kills, that was quite useful. Um, the Theorist Spear is not so great, but they were more of a fixing, holding, or supporting force as this was necessary. Uh, it was always about the cavalry in this fight and the skirmishes, and they did their part nicely. My opponent, as you can see, only one of his Avocati, oh actually no, sorry, these two did okay, but this one really did most of the work. 
Um, he he put a lot into his Eva Carti, and they're a great infantry unit, but uh, he didn't have enough supporting units for them, in my opinion. I was able to mop those up fairly quickly and circle them and just put missiles into them and elephants and all sorts of things. So my opponent was a Raven Law 1. I do believe I did several battles with this guy, so um, this is the first of them, and it goes to me. Uh, as I said, it was mostly about using those flanks to aggression and just using the centre to use the missiles to kind of just harass him and thin his numbers out and get that elephant in. And fortunately, even though it went to mock, it still kind of came in at the right site, right place and routed a lot of those Evocati before they could do a lot of damage. So anyway, good game to my opponent, Raven Lol one um, Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I think, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be bringing you some more Rome too soon. So see you then.